It's currently 4.40 in the morning. I'm on my way to San Fran. Um, and fortunately, hopefully we don't wake the neighbors here. I'm out, I'm out. Always hate early mornings, but it's gonna be worth it. Can I please get a large regular double cupped and a hash brown? That's everything. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. It's a couple days since our San Fran trip. Um, whew, had a blast, man. It was actually a really fun trip. If you guys missed it, we were down there for the crew too, man. I and uh, we ended up recording about two hours of it, and uh, it was a lot of fun. I was playing with Tomcat down there. So before we even leave the garage today, I want to get to these packages. I've had them for a little bit now, and they need to be open, man. I got to get to these. I want to know what's inside of them because I have yet to even open these because uh, I wanted to do it for an actual video. So these were sent in by Siki. If you guys don't know, it's the same company that did my rear subframe bushings. Um, I actually bought those rear subframe bushings and they seen my post on Instagram. I couldn't believe it. I actually seen them. They sent me a message and they asked me if I would like uh, the rear differential bushings, man. And I was like, yes, please, because I actually do need them. And what they have actually went ahead and done is uh, sent us the rear differential bushings for my G35. So we are pretty much set. If you guys don't know, mine are just absolutely shot. These stickers need to get on the car ASAP. I wanna do them on the windows. And uh, we got some big changes to the G coming up. I can't really tell you guys much about them. Second package here. Now this was pretty much like a big old care package from them here and I've been really waiting. Oh my God, look at it. Okay, so starting off, ooh, let's go. Okay, so, so we got some really nice Sicky shirts here, Sicky Manufacturing, that is really cool. Green and the black. We have two more bottled koozies, man, hell yeah. And some big stickers, oh my God, those are going definitely on the window. We got some bigger ones, some small stickers. Huge thanks to Siki for sending me this. Um, I will leave all of their social media down below for you guys to follow. If you guys need bushings, uh, they actually have a lot of other things on their website as well too. So make sure you guys check them out. Link will be found down below in the description box. But with all that being said, um, we gotta get out of here, man. I'm hot as hell right now. It's about like 25 degrees Celsius. I know for some of you guys, it's not really that hot, man. But for being in Canada, it's hot though, man. It definitely is. So she can get pretty loud right now, man. We're gonna go on a quick little uh, cruise here. We got an 80 road coming up. We can maybe get a little bit of a rip. But uh, if you guys do remember, I went to San Francisco right there, courtesy of Ubisoft. 
had a lot of fun there, man. I really did. I met some awesome content creators. And, like, you know, it's always good to meet different content creators. You know, it's always good to kind of get a different experience as to what you're doing. Because, I mean, for somebody like me in my position, doing it all by myself every single day, the grind is real. And sometimes, you know, it's hard to get out of that grind and look around you. And, you know, having those conversations with those other two guys really kind of opened up my horizons, if that makes sense. So I'm really excited for this year coming up. We got Forza Motorsports 7 coming down, Need for Speed Payback, we have uh, Gran Turismo Sport. The list goes on, man. It's going to be a good game here. Why are my lights still on? I don't know. Holy shit, what is this? That is a huge ass. Oh my god. That's big, man. It's real big. is to figure out my brake situation that I have. And unfortunately, when I was at the track, I boiled my brake fluid. If you guys did not know, I boiled it. And I went to go get a flush because my pedal just never really sat up to where it was before. It was actually always down a little bit more. Uh, so I was wondering, you know, why that was like that. I got the flush and unfortunately, my master cylinder ended up going. I talked to a few people and what ended up happening, uh, at least to my knowledge, is the fact that, you know, because it was sitting for so long with you know just the regular master cylinder and then you know deciding to hit the track and just beat the shit out of it all that dirt that was at the bottom of that master cylinder when we decided to flush it it got pushed through the seals and the seals just ended up going so unfortunately uh you know it just it didn't work out the master cylinder blew uh didn't have any pressure so you know then it was you know it's the new master we got the new master on but it still didn't really have a lot of pressure but after that we decided to go four pads four rotors all around because i cooked the brakes regardless at the track last time i was there cooked the shit out of them so we decided just to swap them all out and uh you know after that the brake pressure actually went back up so now it's at about maybe half and you know i don't know i mean if you guys have a vq let me know down below how is your brake pedal feel like does it feel where you don't get a lot of pressure until about maybe three quarters halfway down because that's where it is for me right now and i don't really know um you know sometimes i was told that you know if the pedal is actually too hard it's not the greatest you know you want it to be a little bit softer so maybe that's the way that it's supposed to be and i'm just not used to that i don't know but at least it's drivable though man that's really the biggest thing at least it's drivable so now other than what i just mentioned uh we also have rear camber arms going on the car i need to get those on because mine are actually bent i need rear toe arms and also i need to throw on those rear differential bushings from sicky uh so you know the g's got quite uh you know a road ahead of it to really bring it back to where i want it to be and obviously you know that's the name of the game when you decide to bring your car to the track i'm not mad about it by any means i'm actually happy because that means that we're fixing everything that is broken and getting it you know more prepped for the next track day so it's just you know it's a process and unfortunately that's the way that it has to be and you know a lot of you guys are saying you know slap where is you know the car vlog you know that's why i subscribe you know some people subscribe for those car vlogs and you know unfortunately i do apologize that there has been such a delay uh just not much has been going on and you know i've been super busy uh, you know, around the real world and, you know, essentially, right? I mean, you know, these trips, uh, I'm getting married in October, you know, things are just piling up and need to get done 
and you know priorities come into check and sometimes you need to kind of just put one thing ahead of the other uh, but I have made progress on the build and uh, the reason I say that well uh, I pulled the trigger the other day and I got something new for the car and I'm actually really excited for it uh, I think that's gonna put me you know into that next step you know that next level that I've been wanting on the G and uh, I guess I'll just go ahead and say I'm not gonna tell you what it is but I got new rims for the car and you know I put down a couple grand on these things so I'm really excited to you know see them in person see the fitment on them and uh, see what needs to be done to actually make these things fit but it's going down uh, I could not be more excited man I want to tell you guys I do but unfortunately it's just gotta have to wait for a few but uh, be be ready though man when the video hits uh, you'll know man you'll definitely know Oh my god, there's a damn Chevelle right there. Oh no, 70 SS. No. Oh. That hits me right in the feels right there, man. One day, one day I'll have a 70 Chevelle SS 454 big block. I will have, I'm hoping maybe a 2013 Dodge Viper. I mean, it's a stretch. Uh, you know, I'll take a 98, it's not a problem. But um, Jesus, man, one of those two cars I will own, or two of them if not, by the time I die, man, it's gonna happen, guaranteed. Let me know your dream cars down below, man. Leave them in the comment section. I also have a package from Amazon down here that I need to open. I just got it in, actually, right as I was leaving, so I figured, hey, let's uh, go ahead and bring this in, because I've been actually working on my gaming setup. I know you guys haven't really seen much about, you know, the whole setup itself with the studio room, but uh, big things have changed, and I'm actually really excited. I got some bigger things coming into the room, uh, which I will be doing videos on it when they do happen, but um, just a lot has been going on, man. Unfortunately, you know, I'm not a vlogger. You know, I don't vlog on a daily basis. I don't really like doing that myself. Uh, so, you know, sometimes the videos are a little bit more later than, you know, maybe you guys would want them. I guess the biggest thing I can say, if you guys really want to see these, you know, the vlogs in general, just make sure you guys slap that like button. Uh, I'm sure Finley would appreciate it because I'm sure she wants to be in a couple vlogs very soon. Uh, she's getting big. She's getting real big right now. Get out of the way, man. It's Subi, though. Now, I wanted to talk to you guys quickly about uh, the possibility of Forza Motorsport 7 having nitrous uh, in the game. Now, I know a lot of you guys right off the bat are just going to shoot that down and say no. Uh, Forza 7 is not getting nitrous. However, if you look at the facts, all right, now we have had the Hoonigan DLC pack. Awesome pack. I loved it. You guys seem to love it in the videos. Um, but we were missing one car, which was the Holden U. And now the car is coming into Forza 7. It's going to be happening. And if you watch the Hoonigans build uh, with their daily transmission, um, you know, they're putting a lot of things into this car. It's going to be just, you know, a, you know, crazy horsepower. What they were saying was it's going to be equivalent to just, you know, hitting upgrade all on the Forza 7 upgrades list, which I'm very excited for. Now, because of this fact, they're also including nitrous into this build, which means we may see a nitrous kit equipable on this car. And, you know, the reason I say this is because Forza is, you know, no stranger to the nitrous oxide. They have done it before with the Fast and the Furious DLC. If you guys remember, we were able to spray with Dom's charger and such, and it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed the aspect of having nitrous in the game. And I know if you guys ask me, well, you know, does that fit in Forza 7? Not really at all, but it would fit for that one car only because it's actually going to have nitrous oxide. So it makes sense for them to actually have it in Forza 7. So I feel it's a really good opportunity for them to put in, you know, a wow factor into the pack and really just, you know, get some media attention on Forza 7 when that car does get added in. Because Hootie has been doing some big things, man. I've been really excited and, you know, the overall wow factor of their pack was, you know, I think way more than expected. I was really happy that Forza decided to collab with them. And I mean, they did that so early on ago uh, that everybody just kind of forgot about it, including myself. I was like, okay, well, the Hoonigan DLC is not coming out. And then they dropped the bomb on us, right? So it's nice that we got it right away and then we're going to get it again very, very soon. And like I said, hopefully with nitrous, man, that's the plan. Let me know your thoughts down below about that. Very curious very curious as to what is exactly in here i did make an order the other day i was actually hoping for a few other things to come in here uh including a table for my basement so i can get my n64 hooked up and working with my home theater system as well uh so that's gonna be coming very soon but i got my n64 all hooked up if you guys want to see you know a house tour in you know in a sense let me know down below in the comment section i haven't really done any of those for a while uh, we've been doing some big changes, including the 65-inch TV that I just bought for the living room. 
Uh, so, you know, things are going down, man. You know, finally making our house a home. And you know, I've been really excited for that. And it's just been a process of just things piling up and just needing to just get them done and just bang them out, which I was doing over this last weekend, which kind of explains you know, the lack of our second videos in the weeks. We didn't really do two videos on this weekend. And that was just because I was slammed, man. I was absolutely slammed. I didn't have any extra time. And if I was doing a second video, uh, it was going to be rushed. It was going to be a video that I didn't really want to have to make. And I figured, you know, I've been grinding for a long time and I've been working very hard. Uh, you know, I figured as long as there's one video up on the channel and I have a good reason why I'm, I'm not actually posting, I feel that's acceptable, right? I mean, that's all I'm saying on that. So if you guys do see one video go up in a day, just know I'm busy, man. That's all I'm saying. I'm trying to, you know, make the dream work, if that makes any sense. Look at this guy. What the hell are you looking at, sir? I'm just kidding, man. I'm just kidding. Also, too, Need for Speed Payback. Uh, they dropped some huge trailers at Gamescom. You guys seen them? Let me know your thoughts, but... Um, it was, it was pretty cool seeing, you know, the different levels of police coming back into the game, you know, seeing all that. And I'm excited to see the Rhinos come in, man. I really am. I think it's going to be probably something comparable to, you know, the old school Most Wanted back in the day. Uh, but I just hope that they're not too crazy, right? In the trailer, there was like 30,000 damn cop cars in there just, you know, doing everything that they can to hit this M5, which they couldn't even do. Right, so I mean, we'll see what happens with the game. I hope that the physics are going to be okay. Um, I feel that they will, and you know, in there, it did look good. You know, the physics actually looked really nice. However, you know, it's not what everybody is expecting, and that's one of the issues that I feel that everyone's going to have to come to grips with is that this is still an arcade game, right? I mean, it's not something where you know you're going to be playing expecting a Forza Motorsport feel. It's just it's not going to happen. So with that being said, um, you know, you can see that there was a lot of kind of understeer turning. You would just kind of turn in and it would slide, right? So we're not really looking for that, but we'll see. Oh, we got a fire truck coming in. Hold on now. Hold on. Jeez. Oh, he's ripping by. seen a surge protector well Amazon Prime man that's where I get mine from man I was not expecting my surge protector to be in here I was hoping for a few other things it's okay though all right well I'm trying to do some bank business ladies and gentlemen thank you guys so much for watching once again for today uh we're gonna be doing another car vlog very soon with the upgrades and I'm gonna be debuting my new rims very very soon make sure you guys keep a lock on the channel don't forget to subscribe slap that like button huge thank you guys for watching for today I need some cash withdrawals man